my father was kind of a famous soldier. And I went to West Point for a year. I left West Point and I enlisted in the Army. I was 19 when I landed on the Omaha Beach. And the invasion itself on D-Day was just tremendous confusion, smoke, and you couldn't pick out any enemy. It took most of that first day to get off the beach itself. After that, things moved more quickly through the hedgerows. After surviving the invasion of Omaha Beach, Private Michael J. Daly served throughout Europe before receiving a battlefield commission to second lieutenant and taking command of an infantry company. With much of the countryside reduced to rubble and Germany on the verge of surrendering, Daly and his men entered the war-torn remains of Nuremberg in late April of 1945, determined to locate and destroy any remaining combatants still hiding in the area. We knew the war would be over soon. And some of the uh, individual German units were determined to fight on. They were very dedicated, wanted to bring down as many Americans as they could before the end of the war. Nuremberg itself was tremendous rubble, so it was a natural place for defense. And we ran a new kind of a hornet's nest there. Hidden among the bombed out houses and shops of Nuremberg's main thoroughfare, dozens of enemy snipers and machine gunners lay in wait for the unsuspecting Americans to move closer. Gunfire erupted across a city square as Daly's men, caught in an ambush, began to fall. Without hesitation, Daly charged one German position after another, avoiding rifle, machine gun, and even rocket fire until eventually the enemy fell silent. You're um, involved in an encounter that you can't afford to lose. You have to prevail. In all, he killed 15 Germans that afternoon and destroyed three machine gun nests. I did the best I could to try and help the, uh, the company protect them. And, uh, and I was lucky too. You're in command of this company and uh, been in combat a long time together. Obviously, there's not many survivors in the group, in the original group. And you feel obliged to do everything you can to protect them. I just got out in front and uh, got very lucky for a period of time. Luck is a pretty important part of anything in particular in war. The day after his heroic one-man campaign, Daly was critically injured while leading his company into action. He spent the next year in recovery, but was well enough to travel to the White House on August 23, 1945, to receive the Medal of Honor. You know, it's uh, President Truman, Harry Truman. He was very gracious. It's a tremendous honor for your government to give you responsibility for leading Americans into combat. I guess what I feel uh, the strongest about was the, the uh, well, three of the bravest people I knew were, uh, one was a farmer from Mississippi, a farmer in uh, Minnesota, and a, a guy from Brooklyn who uh, worked in his father's grocery store. And they were all killed. But they were tremendous uh, soldiers, and it's uh, one of the wonderful things we've shown the world is the success of, of forging one people out of many. And uh, we were fortunate in a way to have a cause greater than ourselves. We all need such a cause. And it was so indicative of citizen soldiers thrown into this crucible, and, uh, and if we ever do anything to break that one people out of many, uh, we uh, break those faith with these uh, people that are on that bluff above Omaha Beach. Uh, we remember those people that sacrificed so much because uh, it would have been a different world if they hadn't been there.